And we are back at ITV Orange Stage. It's great to see you virtually joining us from whatever time zone or continent. Maybe you just have your breakfast or you're already at the after work hour with us. Great to have you with us. And of course, ITV community, ITV family, welcome. You stick with us as you cannot leave Berlin anyway. So it's a great place to be uh, here at the ITV Future Trek Day. And we debate sustainability and responsibility all day long. And now we are coming from the macro level really to um, a local level as we talk and look into the sustainable tourism in Estonia. So let's travel together. And for that, I welcome Billy Le Grand here on stage. <laughs> Katie, you are amazing. It's such a, a full of energy at the end of the day like this. It's great. Up next, you've just said it now, the right message in tourism, actually. We're going to have a panel on this, making uh, genuine ESG claims, in fact. And uh, you're all aware, of course, up next will be probably uh, regulations on this with the EU Green Claims Directive. It's really trying to tackle, actually, the amount of greenwashing that's happening across all sphere of society and not only uh, in tourism and trying to... And that's what we're going to try to do, actually. We're going to try to dissect a little bit this controversy around washing, all sorts of washing, greenwashing, blue washing, rainbow washing, you name it, or green hushing, for that matter. Um, so we'll do that a little bit later uh, in trying to understand how, what's the, what sort of messaging do we need to have to stay authentic uh, and accountable, in fact. But you've mentioned it, and first we'll hear about a pretty amazing story, actually. It's the story of sustainable tourism. And for this, I welcome Ms. Kuli Krane. She's the head of tourism at the Ministry of Economic Affairs and Communication in Estonia. Please, Ms. Kuli Krane, come up to the stage. Hi. Hi. So welcome. I feel like asking, is, it, is this your first ITB? No, it's my second. Second ITB? Mm -hmm. And so far? So far so good? Yes, very good. Very, very important for me as a policy, tourist policy rep representative from Estonia, but also more important for Estonian uh, entrepreneurs and also Visit Estonia, who is also attending here. So it's a, a very important event. It's very good. Us. And I, I did point out a little bit earlier to your T-shirt, to your shirt, actually. It says Responsible Explorer. So I quite like that. And we'll hear more about this. I'd like to leave you the floor for your keynote, Ms. Kuli Krane. The floor is yours. Very good. I did wait. Thank you once again. And once again, it's a great honor to be here in Berlin ITB and tell you a little bit about Estonia and our uh, story about sustainability. Every time when I have a possibility like this, then I somehow have a feeling that maybe it's a good idea to start with a map. I don't know, either it's because of my background being a geographer or because I'm coming from a very small country uh, with population 1.3 million people. So, Estonia is a northern European country, neighbored by Finland, Sweden, Latvia, Lithuania is not far away, and Russia. Since 2004, we are a member of the European Union and also NATO. And yes, I must uh, say that we are looking with satisfaction uh, the developments in uh, NATO so that Baltic Sea actually has become a NATO Sea. And then the other thing what I always want to ask when I have audience uh, like this, how many of you have been in Estonia? Could you show me? Oh, quite many. <laughs> Great. So, but those who haven't been there, maybe you are aware about the image of Estonia being one of the most digitalized uh, societies in the world. So, more than 20 years ago, actually, our government uh, started to build the basis for this uh, that distributed um, uh, architecture, once only principle, so that uh, uh, basically data is asked once and uh, stored in one database and shared whenever it is needed via X-Road. And X-Road is the busiest highway in Estonia since 2001. And being a citizen of Estonia, I can assure that today life in Estonia is uh, free of bureaucracy, 
state functioning 24-7 makes us uh, um, uh, effective, and actually this is the point of the digitalization, being effective. Our digital society also appeals to tech companies. Maybe this is why we have the most startups per capita in Europe. And also our government is very innovative. Uh, the e-residency program, which opens all e-digital uh, services for other people and uh, countries uh, outside Estonia, is for me actually like a startup of uh, government. Uh, I don't remember when I last went to any public uh, offices in Estonia, probably it was uh, like um, 12 years ago, because 99% of our e uh, public services are digitalized, and what is more important, 99% of Estonians are using those e-services. For example, when you even haven't, uh, you don't have enough uh, computer skills, then e-prescription is still the thing you can use. And do you think it is possible to get married online in Estonia? Yes, it is. Last year, our government launched this uh, e-service, so basically you can send an e-proposal to your loved one and then wait for 30 days for e, no or yes. But yes, once you need to go to the public office to, to say, I do. And there is the divorce is the final uh, service which is under digitalization right now. So the digital image of Estonia is making us big. But the other key element for uh, Estonia as a tourism destination is Estonian nature. Protected natural uh, wonders are never more than minutes away. For example, I live in Tallinn, 15 minutes drive from downtown to my home, but it takes only five minutes for me when I go jogging to be in the middle of nowhere, to be in the middle of forest, where very often I just want to stop and hear the silence and take a deep brief of one of the most cleanest air in the world. So a significant part of Estonia is under nature protection. Even there is a um, story going around that uh, some of uh, foreign students in Estonia have declared to their uh, universities that Maybe the air is too clean in Estonia. It makes it them think too clear, actually. So nature has always been provided us uh, protection, food, and uh, power to our soul. In Estonia, it is still quite common that uh, a lot of families are growing uh, their own vegetables. Of course, picking um, berries and mushrooms is one of uh, uh, the most popular national sport in Estonia. There is still uh, traditional hunting and so on. And also, for me, it's very important to know what I eat, what my family eats, and where it come from, comes from. And mostly, it comes from my parents' garden. But it hasn't always been the free will. During sober time, it uh, actually was very often the way to survive. So sustainability is def definitely not a trend, but a tradition in Estonia. Uh, and this, in Estonia, there are several words for uh, sustainability. But as Estonian, we understand the most borders the uh, 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 possible sense it. We try to be part of the nature, uh, thinking like a nature, but also um, uh, preserving our traditions, heritage, and culture. This is why it is very important for us that Estonia ranked fourth in Euromonitor uh, Sustainable Travel Index in uh, 2023. Last year, we uh, completed a survey on uh, sustainable tourism in Estonia involving 15% of uh, our tourism uh, service pro providers. And what was the one of the key findings there is that there has been a shift in mindset. A lot of our companies are not uh, asking why they should be sustainable, but rather how to do it in a best possible way. 
because it is uh, our responsibility to reduce the uh, travel industry's footprint uh, to ensure that uh, also future generations uh, could enjoy uh, four, season, uh, four seasons in Estonia, nice summers, uh, snowy winters, uh, no extreme weather conditions. And also the magical and, uh, and uh, wonderful, uh, unique uh, fifth season uh, when uh, flooding is there in springtime and witness you the nature, forest and uh, uh, fields from a, from a totally different angle. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>